We all have a story about ourselves that we're constantly repeating inside our heads. It's a story about who we are, and we'll continuously act that story out throughout our lives. And the more we act it out, the more that story makes itself into a reality. If you're acting out the story of someone you want to be, then you'll naturally find yourself becoming that person over time. Whereas if you're acting out a role you don't want to be in, then you'll always find yourself facing limitations. This video is about exploring where your internal narrative comes from, how to enhance it, and how to make this new vision of yourself stick around in the long term. The reason we think in stories to begin with is that it's a way of simplifying life's complexities down to something that's easy to understand. The human brain loves to use pattern recognition to make things easier whenever possible. And looking at life through the story archetypes we've all seen before is a way of using pattern recognition to deal with the most complex questions of all. Who am I? And what should I be doing with my life? This mental shortcut causes serious problems when people end up with a negative internal story that holds them back. And unfortunately, this state is the default that happens to us unless we actively put effort into crafting our own internal narrative. Often the problem isn't that people have come up with the wrong answers to their life's ultimate questions. It's that they haven't even tried to come up with their own answers in the first place. This is a bad position to find yourself in because if you don't decide who you are, somebody else will end up deciding for you and you probably won't like the result of that decision very much at all. Each of us needs to make sure that our story is what we want it to be. One we've chosen for ourselves instead of the result of circumstances outside of our control. Don't buy into someone else's limiting negative story. Remember, your past is not you. What other people have told you is not you. You decide who you are. To get an idea of the type of story that you can choose to make your life as fulfilling as possible, you should think about which type of stories have always had the most impact. The work of mythology scholar Joseph Campbell has shown that the most popular and enduring stories from throughout human history have all followed the same basic structure. This structure is called the monomyth or the hero's journey. In the hero's journey, the hero leaves their ordinary world and ventures into a world of new challenges which must be overcome one by one. Until finally, they're faced with a challenge so great that they cannot overcome it as they currently are. They must be reborn by growing as a person before they can achieve the ultimate victory. After this, they return to their ordinary world having benefited greatly from their quest and having changed. This story is at the core of human psychology. Carl Jung believed that the hero's journey was part of a process called individuation, where all the different parts of your unconscious mind come together to form your true self. This means that the process of acting out the hero's journey in your life is actually the process of becoming yourself. In Jung's own words, only one who has risked the fight with the dragon and not been overcome by it wins the treasure hard to attain. He alone has a genuine claim to self-confidence, for he has faced the dark ground of the self and thereby has gained himself. This experience gives him faith and trust. The hero's journey is repeated to us in every form of media that exists. The reason we love to keep hearing it over and over again is that it contains the message that people can change and that this change can bring us the things we want and bring meaning to our lives. The approach to life that comes from this message is so vital that if you're not acting out the hero's journey, you're not getting the greatest possible meaning out of your life. To craft your own heroic narrative, you need to think of something you want to do that is both meaningful to you and poses a great challenge that you have to venture into the unknown in order to overcome. A great way to come up with possibilities for your own personalized hero myth is to imagine that people in the future are making a movie about your life. What would it be about? What would happen in it? Imagine that right now is the point right before the third act where the hero has to change something about himself. What would that change be? If you're truly struggling to think of something that would be meaningful to you, you should try improving your health and trying out new things for a while. The more healthy your habits are, the more clear your thinking will be. And the more experiences you gain, 
the more chances you have to be inspired by something. Once you do come up with something, it will start to change your behavior. Your story is your identity and your identity controls your habits. Because if you see yourself as a person who behaves in a certain way, it will take you much less energy to continue with that behavior. For example, someone who sees themselves as a fitness enthusiast will have an easier time getting started exercising. And someone who sees themselves as someone who enjoys learning will have an easier time reading. This impact of thoughts on behavior is connected to something called the Pygmalion effect. This is named after an ancient Greek myth about an artist who sculpted his ideal woman and then had her come to life. This symbolizes the way a person can be created out of nothing through a self-fulfilling prophecy. You can use the Pygmalion effect on yourself by shaping your own thoughts instead of allowing other people to shape them. Reinforcing your own positive idea of who you are with each piece of evidence gathered, creating your own self-fulfilling prophecy. To make your story stick, you should realize that the idea that identity controls habits also works in reverse. Habits control identity. A good way to come up with new habits is to imagine that a documentary crew is following you around at all times filming the story of your success. What would you be doing to match that story and make it real? There's a feedback loop between what you think your life story is and the decisions you make each day. This can work either for you or against you. Decisions that make you feel powerful and in control will reinforce that identity. With each action that matches your internal story, providing a new piece of evidence that you were right about yourself. Whereas each time you make a decision that comes from a place of fear, you create the identity of someone who can't do things successfully. You can input into the feedback loop at both ends. Becoming the best version of yourself requires you to continuously edit your beliefs about yourself and upgrade your identity while at the same time doing things that match up with this new identity in order to make it stronger. To make a start right away, think of the things you could do right now that are the most critical part of acting out your own hero's journey. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then click like. It really helps me out with growing the channel and reaching more people in the future. If you haven't already subscribed, then do that to see more videos like this in the future. Have a great day.